Hello, this is Kirill from forexboat.com and welcome back to the course on Forex trading. In today's tutorial, we will talk about the Forex calendar. So to find uh, one of the best Forex calendars, you need to go to Google and type in Forex factory uh, calendar. And um, as you can see, it brings up a calendar here and we're going to open up that page. Forex factory is a forum for Forex traders and um, they also provide news and other uh, cool stuff. Um, here you've got a calendar for the week where you can change um, your time period here if you want to but uh, by default it's set to the current week and uh, as you can see the week started with Sunday that's that was the previous Sunday uh, November the 30th and um, for every day well Sunday is not not really the best day to look at so we'll start off with Monday because that's actually a, a working day uh, so for every day they've got uh, the news uh, that's due in the world, like for example, uh, Spanish Spanish manufacturing PMI or um, net lending to individuals uh, uh, M M slash M or a monetary base uh, Y slash Y and um, a cash rate and uh, all of these they are specific to a certain country. Um, so on the left here, it will tell you what currency pair is affected and. Um, usually in 99% of the cases it is actually the currency pair um, that uh, is uh, local or domestic to that uh, country so here you've got Australian dollar and um, a euro the Swiss franc a British pound as you can see quite a lot of news is coming out there and uh, so the current time is actually shown at the top over here and over here as well and here you've got uh, the time when that news will be released in that uh, same time zone. I'm pretty sure if you log in uh, into their website then you'll be able to change the time zone to your time zone um, but by default I think it's set to um, the New York uh, or EST time zone um, so uh, you can play around with that. Uh, what else do we have here? You've got some details so you can click on the detail if you want and it'll bring up some uh, information specific to that piece of uh, news so for example um, the manufacturing PMI for uh, Great Britain you can read about it here and you can understand that per uh, PMI stands for purchasing managers index um, you can uh, see when the next release is um, some notes some very useful information basically some related stories from uh, financial reviews um, the history of how it changed and so on um, then you can just close that if you don't want to see it um, and then finally you've got uh, the values over here which are the most important part so the first value is the actual this is in fact what the value was when the news was released uh, then uh, you've got the forecast and you got the previous value so by reading this um, manufacturing PMI for Great Britain we can see that the previous value was 53.3 uh, the forecast for this time for this Monday was 53.1 but when uh, the time came and the news was released it was actually 53.5 and that's why it's highlighted in green uh, meaning that uh, this outcome was much more favorable than expected for traders that means that um, apparently the economy is doing uh, well and uh, the British pound uh, is probably going to grow you, you have to kind of um, also gauge how this news affects uh, your uh, currency and that you can see here under usual effect so if actual is greater than forecast it's good for currency so in this case it was good for the British pound dollar um, also you can see that uh, this uh, news is highlighted with a red uh, factory icon meaning that uh, the impact is a high impact and um, therefore if you put all of this together uh, the outcome was more favorable than the forecast it's good for the currency it's a high impact so probably the British pound dollar experienced a uh, increase uh, in value at this uh, point in time when this news was released um, so if you see something that's red um, let's find a red one that's um, that's high impacts here's another one so the British pound construction PMI was released on Tuesday and um, the outcome was uh, less than uh, the forecast so 59.4 versus 61.1 if you expand this you'll see here that the actual if actual is greater than forecast is good for currency in our case actual is less than forecast so meaning it's bad for the British pound dollar 
and we can see a red uh, icon here meaning that it's a high impact piece of news meaning that the British pound probably uh, would have uh, lost value. It's not always the, that case. Uh, sometimes things happen that you don't expect, but in most cases, uh, it does uh, stay in line with the recommendations that are given on Forex Factory. So we're just going to cr scroll down a bit lower and I'll show you um, today's news. So here, because we're uh, in Friday, December the 5th, um, you can see that right now the time's around 3 a.m. Actually, it's just past 3 a.m. It's 3.05. Um, but I opened this page at 3 a.m. So um, at that time, this piece of news for the Swiss franc hadn't been released yet. And it says here foreign currency reserves. Uh, as you can see, uh, the previous value was 460.4 billion. Uh, there's no expected value. Sometimes uh, there's uh, nothing that they can um, specify here. And um, in order to find out the current value, you just have to click this refresh button because um, uh, we were we are so close to the release of the news. So I'm just going to click it and see what will come up. And as you can see, that's the current value. It was literally released like two or three minutes ago into the world news. So you can uh, probably find it on the website of um, um, the Associated Central Bank and so on. Um, so there foreign currency reserves increased by two billion dollars um, which is probably a good thing you can also um, check here but once again we don't have a forecast so we, we there's nothing to compare to you can only compare to the previous value and I don't really know if that's that's a very good thing or um, it should have increased much more so you'd have to find the forecast somehow yourself as you can see this news hasn't been released yet and that's because uh, the time hasn't come for it to be released uh, also, uh, something that we'll talk about in uh, the uh, further tutorials of this section. Um, today is the first Friday of December, and um, every first Friday of every month, the U.S. releases non-farm employment change and unemployment rates for the month. And uh, those are two uh, major pieces of news. We'll talk about them in the future tutorial. Um, I look forward to seeing you then, and until next time, happy trading.